All right, we're working on, on a pickled okra. I took like a whole, the way this recipe, I've copied from several different recipes this between last night and this morning. I do not like a sweet vinegar on anything. That's just me. But what's in here is dill, three garlic cloves, a slice and a half of onion and bell pepper, uh, and one uh, teaspoon of salt, okay? Then we're gonna fill this up with okra. Alrighty, make sure you pack the jars as tight as you can. I don't feel, I'm not gonna fill okra all the way up because I want everything to be covered because you know we're only filling it to an inch below the brim. I do have a little bit of okra left over, but we're gonna cook that for dinner. But uh, yeah, we'll be back. Make sure to wipe off the edge of your brim, uh, your jar edges. Make sure to do that. Before you start, you're going to have to get your uh, water boiling in your, sorry that was hot, in your uh, water bath, get it boiling. Cause you're gonna have to boil these in the jars for 10 minutes, okay? I know that some of y'all are like, why'd you put all the onions and green peppers in? But think about it, I want something like, that's got a little flavor to it more than just the vinegar. And this is the first time I've done this. So I just took recipes and combined and did my own thing. Before you do this, make sure your jars are sterilized. And it's real easy to do a sterilizing jar. Put them in your dishwasher, let them go on heat and all of that and then use them. Very easy. You ain't gotta do all that boil and just take them strictly, strictly straight out of your dishwasher when it's done, while the heat and start using them. Now these have cooled a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. Now I got my vinegar in there, but I'm gonna take this thing and go in there and try to make sure I get all, try to get as many air bubbles as I can. But now I will say when you put it in the water bath for 10 minutes, most of your air bubbles are gonna come out anyway. Okay and let it sit for a second because you will lose a little bit of vinegar okay not much but you will lose a little bit and my brine is simple three and a half cups of vinegar to a half a cup of water that's my brine for this okay i like a strong vinegar you can adjust the brine as you like it now i'm gonna let these heat it was boiling it takes time for it to come back up for 10 to 11 minutes do not go over 11 minutes Okay, there it goes by boiling. Uh, let them cook for 10 to 11 minutes on the water bath. Take them out and just sit them on the counter. They're ready. Just wait till like three to four weeks before you start eating them. And by the way, if you have extra vinegar left over, put it in your mop water. It's a natural disinfectant. And it'll kill any bacteria on your floor. Okay, so make sure, don't waste your vinegar. If you have a little bit of vinegar left over, put it in your mop water, okay? Or put it in a spray bottle and use it to clean. Don't waste it. Yeah, the gift from Miss uh, Debbie Chapman broke my heart, and I had to take and take my mind off of it because I'm trying to move past that. Today is day seven of us having to I'll put Oreo to rest. This is a total of one week. This day last week was the day we laid her to rest. It has been a hard, hard run for me this week. And, uh, but I do want to say thank you to all of you for being there. Thank you to Miss Debbie for this very beautiful plaque. It is, it's wonderful and it's well appreciated and it's, it's hard for me to talk about it. You know, I under I don't really understand why. I mean, not me, but people don't understand why I'm this upset over an animal. If they knew the relationship me and Oreo had, you would understand. It's like a mother and child or a father and son type relationship with us. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I I'm trying to move on trying to take my mind off of things, trying not to dwell on it. But sometimes it's hard and it hits you like a ton of bricks. But I did set Google to 10 minutes timer. So that way I'll show you the end product, okay? So this is the finished product. Uh, it's still hot. I literally, you can tell by the water on it that I literally just took it out the water pack canner. Um, 
but uh, it ha it's gonna have to cool like anything else and uh, always remember to separate your canner your hot stuff like six inches from anything else hot <coughs> but uh they're so beautiful like literally beautiful and I you know of course with any pickling thing you want to wait three to four weeks before you eat it eat it I can't talk today and remember one thing if you don't have like animals like I do like birds that like to eat uh, fresh veggie scraps when I'm canning are you I mean seriously just take them to the to the woods and empty them out because you got to remember is that rabbits if they have something to eat there they won't come to your garden same thing with deer and if they don't eat it it still fertilizes your your forest so you're not wasting anything there's no sense in throwing that stuff in the trash use it for mulch for your for, for your woods or to feed the rabbits you know out in the wild or the deer just don't get close to them let them be wild like they normally are just put it there and walk away they'll get to it they'll come get it trust me they will I always remember that and I hope you love this video and I hope this helps some of you beautiful people um, please like share and subscribe I love you